we believe in the future of this country, we believe in the importance of food security, and we say to those people in the mining companies who argue that you and I don't own, or the farmers don't own what's under the ground, we say we agree with that. We agree with that. But the news for you people, AGL and Santos and others, is nor do you. That stuff is owned by the people of Australia. And just because, and just because, and just because the previous Labor government in New South Wales, can you believe it, gave a five-year mining royalty holiday to coal seam gas mining in this state, a holiday, they pay nothing. The profits, and I'll demonstrate this to you later, the profits from a coal seam gas well are about $80,000. They've given, taken all of this, all of this, and we get absolutely nothing back. Now, of course, the O'Farrell government, we welcome Prue here, who's done a hell of a job in an impossible portfolio of community services. But she is aware, she's seen it firsthand. The O'Farrell government was, well, was elected with a thumping mandate to do something about this. It's not just a matter of saying, oh, well, look, the licence were issued by the previous government. Well, they were. And you've got political power to do something to make sure that these people, we're not saying you can't mine, stay away from prime agricultural land and stay away from urbanised land. That's all you go somewhere else. But the reason they want to come to Barrel and the Southern Highlands and Gunnedah and the Darling Downs is all the infrastructure's in place. When Andrew Forrest wanted to mine for export ore to China in Western Australia, he went where no one had ever been. He had to build the railway lines. He had to build the roads. He had to build the homes where workers would live. They don't have to do any of this. That's why they want to be here rather than out there where no one lives. They want to come here because the job is already done for them. Someone else has paid the infrastructure costs. And this story today, the message today is a simple one. You'll hear a continuing message today and it's very simple and we say to these people emphatically and Drew is the man who coined